What is up everybody? It's RX King and I'm doing another Halo tutorial because it's been a little bit. So what we're going to be doing today is extracting tags from an existing map and getting them cleaned and putting them into our Sapien so they can work well into our new tags directory for the mod tools so that they can work with the current version of Sapien. Because as it stands, if you try to just extract tags from a custom edition map and then throw them into the current CE tools, it will crash Sapien every time. It will not work. So we're going to go over how to do that so you can have some cool stuff in your maps. I would like to add just a disclaimer before we start. If you do use someone's tags, make sure that it's from an older map because if you're using a new map that someone just made and you take their tags without them asking or without asking them, uh, I find that pretty disrespectful just because they put a lot of work into those tags and they made them and I'm sure they wouldn't you know appreciate it if you were just ripping their tags and using it without asking. So with that being said don't worry if it's an old map on Halo CE maps they're all super old the authors are long gone most likely so don't worry about it but if it's a newer map just check in with the author before you do this. So essentially we're going to be taking tags from a map called Naval just because it has custom jets and we are going to be putting them into Blood Gulch just to show that this process works and that it's efficient if you want to get tags from another map. So let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, so things you need to have ready to go before you start this process. You need to have your Halo mod tools installed, obviously that's pretty important. And then you need to have the Moses editing kit, which I will leave a link to in the description below. And you also need to have Invader. If you don't have Invader installed or set up yet already, please check my previous videos because I do go over how to get that and get Six Shooter working in one of those videos that I've made previously. So with that being said, MEK, when you download it, all you gotta do is open the zip. It'll have an EXE, just install the EXE. And then wherever you want it downloaded is where it will install it. For me, I had it installed into my Chell in one directory just because I like to have everything in my workspace. You can put your MEK files somewhere else if you choose. The reason we need MEK is just because in the future, if you want to deprotect a map, you can use Refinery for that because some maps come with protected tags. We'll not be going over that today, but for now, we'll just be downloading it and getting it there so you can do it in the future. So what we need to do is download the map, which I already have it downloaded. It is right here. If you would like to use the same map as I did, go ahead, I will put the map in the description. Go ahead and download that, and then you can use it step by step just so it's easier. Instead of doing it with another map, if it has some issues or if it's protected, you never know. So open up Invader. And then we are going to go open up Six Shooter. And this should pop up. If you already have Invader set up and Six Shooter set up, it should look exactly like this. If you do not, then you're going to go have to see one of my previous videos because I go over how to set up all of this. So we're going to go to Extract Tags. And we're going to pick our SDK and modding folder, which is for me. If your map is in a different folder, no worries, don't get it confused. Um, click on Naval, click open, and it will pop up with all of this stuff. These are all the tags in the map. For me, do not extract it to your tags folder in Chell in one This is very important. If you extract it first to your tags directory, you will break your mod tools. They will not work and you will have to delete your tags and or clean them to get them working. It's easier to just do it this way. Personally for me, there might be another method that's a lot easier, but I prefer doing it this way. I have mine set to this folder right here where all the tags will go just because it's easier to have them separate and then I can drag them over, do it that way instead of just throwing them into my tags folder already and then trying to clean them all. It's just... It doesn't work very well. So, we're gonna pick this directory. Do not do the Chell in one, but do whatever folder you want them to go to. And then you're gonna push extract all tags. It'll do its thing right here on the right. Give it a little bit. 
and then when it is finished as mine is already done it should say extracted blank out of blank tags so they're done they're extracted so now we're gonna exit this we're gonna go to bludgeon tags we're gonna go to the same directory that we just chose for the tags to get extracted to and we're gonna go to level and we're gonna do clean up which is stripping the unused data useful if modding halo cea with official tools this basically cleans the tags so they will work with sapien there won't be any issues hopefully fingers crossed and it stripped the tags so we're good so now we are going to go in here and we are going to take all of these tags and we are going to cut them or copy them whichever you prefer and we're going to open our tags folder in Chellen one and we are going to paste them so this is going to take a little bit but what it's doing is taking all the tags that we just cleaned we're throwing them into our tags directory in here and then we're going to open them up in sapien if it says replace just push skip do not replace them and then let this do its thing when it's finished we will open up sapien and then try to import the tags and see how it works so i'll catch you guys in the next part all right we are in sapien everything is loaded up and if all went well our tags should be working now so what we're going to do is add the jet to the level just to see if it works we're going to go to edit types under vehicles we're going to add and then we're going to look for the tag for us it will be in e steam steam apps common challenge one for you your Chellen one might be installed somewhere else that is totally fine but this is where mine is installed and then we're going to go to tags and if it's not in here which it is but if it's not in here then it might be in a previous directory in the tags folder just so you know but this is the tags folder and we're going to push jet or jet 2 Okay, so the tag is not in here, so maybe it is out here. Jet, there we go. Jet.vehicle, add tag. And there it is in our list. Push OK. And just for fun, we'll place it down in the level. Obviously, it won't spawn because you didn't edit the globals. If you haven't seen my video on inserting custom vehicles into your map, please check that. Just so you know. If you throw the vehicle in the map without editing your globals, it won't show up. It'll just be disappeared. So, anyways, um, we are going to write, we're gonna click one of these, doesn't really matter. And we will switch it to the jet. Now, if it worked correctly, we should have a jet sitting on our map. And there it is. Oh, Sapien just lagged super hard. And there's our jet. So, the tag works. We know that it has imported correctly. It has been cleaned and there is no issue. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I know it was pretty quick. It wasn't as long as my usual ones, but this was just something to help you guys out. Get some cool vehicles and weapons in your maps. If you want to see more tutorials, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys would want to see. And then whichever comment on a tutorial gets the most likes, I will do that next. But yeah, this is uh, the tutorial on adding tags to your map. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.